Welcome to this week's video. So this week I'm reviewing a Link Micro 10.1 inch microscope. So it comes in this nice protective box. Comes with a nice basic instruction manual to get you going. So a quick look in the box. So there's the big screen. Nice 10.1 inch screen. So we'll put that to the test in a minute function buttons on the front which we'll go through on a nice little dial and it records in 1080p as well as lower resolutions as well a nice remote control we've also got a cleaning cloth a little box and some slides which we'll have a look at and then you've got your plug SD card SD card adapter when you plug it into your computer nice 32 gig and then underneath we've got a nice big base and then the wires also and then the back pole so it's in a nice protective wrap stop it from getting damaged two nice big LED lights on the top when you're doing your work and then the back pole simply screws into the back couple of turns and then you just adjust the small adjuster at the bottom to make it central the rear stand is a really good height so you're going to have a lot of clearance to be able to put pretty much anything underneath there and then we simply slot the microscope into place and then there's two screws on the back which is screw them in tight to stop the microscope screen from moving. And then we have a nice big dial on the side, which is simply turned to move it up or down. And the screen itself also adjustable, so you can move it back or forward depending on angles and lighting conditions. So first off we get the 32 gig SD card and that simply just slots into the back. Make sure you pop, pop it in the right way. And then we've got a USB connection that plugs into the top as well. And then the other plugs into the base, this will power the light. And this connection plugs into the USB plug and then we plug it in. Press the power button and then it should turn on. Welcome. So I've got a little switch side panel thing, which I'll just have a quick test of. So you just adjust the adjuster and then focus it in. And then there you can see really clear, nice bright screen. Pressing the OK button darts the recording and you'll see a little red flashing dot in the corner to show it. So this is a 1080p footage of the camera, slowly moving it around. There's no lag, there's no delay, works really well. Nice and bright with the LEDs on it. On the wide remote control, there's functions to adjust the brightness. You can turn up or down. And then on the front, the dial to adjust the light on the camera itself. You can turn it to the highest setting or completely off. Now 
and we've got the remote control out, we just pop two AAA batteries in it. And then we'll just go through the functions on the on the microscope itself. So holding the menu button brings up the menu. So straight away we can click through. You've got your up and down options, you've got your resolution, you can set the time and the date. So there's lots of features on there, so you'll be able to fine-tune it, get a nice perfect picture. It's all about practicing and trial and error to begin with. So all the features on the menu are also on the remote control as well, so you can use either. And then we've got this button here just below the circle pad and all this brings up a little couple of features which i like so the grid so this is really good when you want to be able to frame your picture so you know where the center is and you know where the outside is so you can move it around and know that your main part of what you're filming is completely central Then you've got a few features where you can adjust the colors so you can invert the colors and then you can also if you want to film in black and white So it also comes with this small box. And these slides. So you disconnect the connector out of the back of the base and then you plug it into the box and this provides the light. And then we've got a few little slides that we can pop under, some little microscope slides. So this is really good for the kid. You just fine tune it, dial it in. Might need to adjust the height a little bit. And then we've got a couple of interesting slides that kids and some grown-ups may also enjoy. So overall I really like the camera, it's the second 10 inch one that I've tested recently and the picture quality of it is really good, I like the big bass, it's nice and sturdy and I also like that record sound so you can hear the work that you're doing. So this one doesn't have HDMI output on it but that's not a deal breaker to me because if you're buying a 10 inch microscope you're probably buying it for the size of the screen not to output to another screen. The link is in the description for where you can purchase it from on Amazon. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.